Welcome back to Big Red Wrap Up. I'm Michael Severe with Sean Callahan to talk some recruiting. I know you think this is the script, Sean. This is actually the list of all the visitors. Yeah, <laughs> you look at Nebraska this weekend, it is going to be one of the bigger recruiting weekends we've seen in Lincoln um, in a while. I mean, Nebraska will have five-star Michael Terry back on campus, Oklahoma commit, Cortez Mills. Um, you go down the line, I mean, this is going to be a major weekend of names uh, that make their way in. TJ Latif, their current quarterback commit, Malcolm Sick uh, Simpson, um, who is being courted a little bit behind the scenes, reportedly by Texas. Cade Pedshock from North Dakota. Um, it is an impressive group of players uh, that are going to make their way here. Watch Michael Terry play. Is there a chance? I mean, I know Texas is kind of in the lead, but you think there's a chance? Well, I think if you're going to have a chance, it's this night. I right. think with Nebraska being able to sell this place potentially at its peak. Right. Because you just can't simulate a night like we're going to see in Lincoln on Saturday in college football in very many places. And Nebraska has got a unique opportunity to sell him. And, uh, Texas is clearly the team to beat, mm -hmm. uh, but I think Nebraska's in a pretty good position. Who was the biggest visitor for Utah, Utah game? Well, Christian Jones did make it in. Well, um, it, it wasn't really a big priority weekend. I, I think the priority is this weekend for Nebraska, but Christian Jones mm -hmm. uh, did make it in for Nebraska, which I thought was a big plus. Uh, Jamarian Parker out of St. Louis. That's Cardinal Ritter. Great basketball program. I know they got pretty good football. Can you talk about him a little bit? Yeah, Jamarian Parker had a huge game in his opening game this season. Uh, four touchdowns uh, in mm. his first game this year. You know, Nebraska back in St. Louis in a big way, back in Kansas City in yeah. a big way. And Jamarian Parker was a big part of that. Give Keith Williams a lot of credit uh, to go in there, get him here, because Nebraska has not been able, Michael, to get a Jamarian Parker level player out of St. Louis in a while. Yeah, I guess Trey was the last one, the running back, right? Yeah, tr um, yeah Trey I mean, Bryant. you got to go even before that. I mean, Trey Bryant obviously had the one good year. And Chris Brooks. And Chris Brooks mm -hmm. and Keith Williams and Mike McNeil. Yeah. You had a run there of NFL players that came out of St. Louis to Nebraska, right. and they were all recruited by Kevin Cosgrove. Uh, coincidentally, Keith Williams was a Kevin Cosgrove recruit, yeah. and now he is the guy leading the way. And people like you mentioned, Chris Brooks, Mike McNeil, they're coaching high school football in St. Louis. Oh, wow. So you have to get a quarterback almost every year now. Let's talk about Michael Clayton um, out of uh, Seminole, out of Florida. Yeah, Michael Clayton will be in town. He is probably Nebraska's top 2026 quarterback name they're in on right now. A high four-star level player. Um, he was here for camp in June, looked outstanding, got his offer. Um, to get him back now this weekend is a big opportunity. All right, real quick, let's talk about our in-state. Chase Lofton out of Millard South, the tight end. Yeah, Chase Lofton out of Millard South, um, you know, arguably the top player in the state, a four-star tight end, uh, was at Elkhorn North for his first three years of mm -hmm. high school, transferred to Millard South for his senior year, uh, had a tough loss to start the year in Arizona to Vasha, yeah. uh, one of the top programs um, in, in the state of Arizona, uh, but committed to Florida State. You know, it'll be interesting if Nebraska pushes there a little bit to see if they can get mm -hmm. him on campus. Um, is there a need still for a tight end is the better question at this point. Because you and I both know Florida State 0-2. Yeah. Um, you know, that gets your attention at least with his recruiting. Uh, will some teams at least try to reach out to him? Because you just never know what could happen now in Tallahassee with the 0-2 start. We appreciate it. We'll talk more about this next week, of course.